Good afternoon and welcome to the Department of State Hospitals VIP Award Ceremony. We have 13 awards today. These are the best of the best. They were chosen by their colleagues. And they competed with 11,000 people to be on this stage today. It's my honor to have this award ceremony for those 13 individuals or groups and presenting these awards today. This year's Innovator of the Year Individual Award goes to Lieutenant John Chincharik. Lieutenant Chicharik has been instrumental in creating innovative technological updates at Patton State Hospital. He has worked to enhance the reliability of communication throughout the hospital, which is extremely critical to the safety of officers, staff, and the patients we serve. Lieutenant Chicharik was able to have equipment donated by the San Bernardino County, which equated to a cost savings of $250,000. This year's team award for Innovator of the Year goes to the Technology Services team of Sacramento. This team provides an innovative tracking solution called Behavioral Health Assistance Module Electronic Court Reporting Tracking Solution, otherwise known as BAM. <laughs> this novel innovative system can tell the user when a report is due, which report to complete, and for whom the report needs to be completed. Prior to court reporting process, it was manual and extremely time consuming. This solution, once tedious, is now able to personalize users' dashboards to manage their time and to work more efficiently. Please give a round of applause to the technology services team. This year's individual award for excellence in partnership goes to Dr. Melanie Scott. Dr. Melanie Scott has shown outstanding leadership in supporting the operation of the jail-based competency treatment program. Melanie has taken the initiative to partner with all of our JBCT program staff, the DSH Legal Division, the Forensic Services Division leadership, the Patient Management Unit, and various judges, public defenders, district attorneys, and court stakeholders across the state of California. Melanie does not shy away from hard work and has partnered with all levels of the organization with a positive attitude, no matter how big or small the issue. Please give a round of applause to Dr. Melanie Scott. This team has played a pivotal role in DSH's violence reduction efforts through partnering with Cal OSHA to bring DSH into compliance with workplace violence prevention regulatory requirements. The health and safety officers took on a large responsibility for instituting the changes and addressing Cal OSHA's expectations at each hospital. Through the partnership of the hospital health and safety officers with Cal OSHA, DSH was able to successfully complete the IIPP plans of correction resulting in the abatement of $179,000 in fines. The Special Act of Service Award goes to individuals who stepped up in their task outside of their job duties and by doing so, he or she upholds the Department of State Hospital's values of safety, treatment, and responsibility. Our first award goes to Lowell Fiel for his instrumental approach to the ad hoc bidding process for vacation for the 2018 year. And for this project that would ultimately impact 4,500 employees. If assist had not been used for the 2018 vacation bid cycle, over 25,000 ad hoc vacation days would have had to have been inputted manually versus the automated system offered by ASSIST. Please join me in congratulating a well-deserved Special Act of Service Award to Lowell File of Sacramento. This award goes to Mr. Ernest 
Aloysius. Ernest goes above and beyond regularly in the nutrition services department at Metropolitan State Hospital. Most days, Ernest works by himself in the dish room. He's even been known for coming in on his day off to get the job done. This past Christmas, Ernest put together over 700 sack dinners and two continental breakfasts all by himself due to short staffing during the holidays and has even been labeled the Superman of the department. He cares about the people he serves and works hard to make sure they are fed under any circumstance. Please join me in congratulating Ernest Aloysius of Metropolitan State Hospital. It's my honor to present two team awards for outstanding achievement. The first award is the Nursing Performance Improvement and Standard Compliance Team from DSH Metro. The Nursing Performance Improvement Department has successfully implemented a nursing mentorship program which greatly advances the goals and missions of DSH. Launched in June 2017, the Nursing Mentorship Program provides mentorship classes for registered nurses, psych techs, and psych tech assistants. The program goals are to provide the nursing staff with knowledge regarding DSH Metro policies and procedures and equip them with appropriate tools to provide policy-driven, superb nursing care, resulting in the best outcome for the patients they serve. Let's give them a round of applause. Our second Outstanding Achievement Award is for the Enhanced Treatment Program Team, or ETP Team. DSH was authorized by AB 1340 to establish and maintain a pilot ETP for the treatment of patients who are at the highest risk of dangerous behavior, who cannot safely be treated in a standard hospital environment. Beginning in early 2016, the ETP Team has been involved with all aspects of the design and development of the ETP programs. Working with the DSH Legislation Office, Facilities, Technology Services Division, and the Legal Division, the team has been responsible to draft policies and procedures for the legislature. The team has assumed the responsibility of developing and implementing all aspects of the ETP while continuing to perform their currently assigned duties in their everyday work. The Excellence in Leadership Award is given to employees who demonstrate leadership and inspiration in motivating others to positive action or who inspire others to seek positive solutions. The first winner of the Excellence in Leadership Award is Dr. Helen Tierney. Dr. Tierney has provided outstanding ethical leadership and organizational practices. She is greatly dedicated to her work which inspires others around her. Dr. Tierney is smart, kind, approachable and has a remarkable sense of humor. She is strong interdisciplinary leader, effectively guiding her staff to find the answers and building solutions that are long lasting while maintaining a cohesive team. The next award for excellence in leadership goes to Dr. Helga Thordarson. She has grown the trauma-informed care initiative in DSH for the past few years at all of the hospitals through a ground-up approach. She has been able to bring awareness to the prevalence of trauma and its impacts to the patients we serve. And beyond that, she has inspired and, and helped all of us who don't work with the patients on a daily basis to really understand the impacts of trauma. Recently, Dr. Thordarson has um, partnered with the National Center for Trauma-Informed Care to bring much-needed knowledge and training to DSH. Leading this initiative has been a full-time job. However, she still maintains her other work duties, which is on the Clinical Operations Advisory Council. Please give a round of applause for the winner of the Excellence in Leadership Award, Dr. Helga Thordarson. The Gordian Knot Award is given to an individual or a group that exhibits incredible creativity in resolving a challenging DSH issue. Those who receive this award display a high level of professional conduct and customer service orientation while providing reasonable and ethical solutions. First up, the Atascadero Nursing Team. 
The nursing team, through innovation and collaboration, was able to implement a more efficient and comprehensive patient acuity system to meet licensing and joint commission standards at DSH Atascadero. The new system is called the Patient Classification Rating System, or PCRS. The system has provided a better way to document patient care. The prior system was cumbersome and complicated. Additionally, there is more accuracy in capturing changes in patient needs during a shift, and supervisors report that the PCRS provides better documentation for patient care and unit requirements. So please, big round of applause for the Gordy Knot winners for the nursing team from Atascadero. Great job. So the Atascadero engineering team has worked very hard to save the state of California up to $80,000 by being willing and able to take on a very dirty and dangerous job instead of sending it out to contract. Recently, following a small spill at the wastewater treatment plant at DSH Atascadero, it was discovered that our 70,000 gallon digester was full of grease, fat, and other non-digestible things. One of the major hurdles was the potential environmental impact. The sewage could not be allowed to leak into the area's creek or the nearby riverbed. Together they began the process of removing all liquid and sludge from the digester. Next, they developed a plan to use a diaphragm to pump and remove as much sludge as possible. Over the next week, the engineers worked tirelessly and successfully. The job was not easy, it was downright gross and unpleasant and I might add, very dangerous. This group got the job done safely and efficiently with zero spills and zero accidents. The Director's Top Honor Award is something that I personally select. And I look at really what is it that we are here to do. We're here to serve the severely mentally ill patient population in California. Our whole goal is really not to house them forever, it's to focus in on discharging them. It's stabilizing them and get them back out to their family and their community. I'm going to present this award to Candace Bowman Lord and her friend. <laughs> Candace is a social worker on the Medical Fra Frail LPS unit, which is Lanterman Petrus Short unit, which is our conserved at DSH Metropolitan. She brings her pet therapy dog to the unit, Gucci Lu, a five-year-old Chihuahua. Gucci Lu is a service dog whose specialty in working with those who suffer from anxiety. Candace believes implementing pet therapy among her patients would improve their social, emotional, physical, and cognitive functioning. She wanted to use pet therapy as a tool to help build positive, meaningful connections for the patients, make the unit feel welcoming to long-term care patients, increase social interactions, reduce anxiety and depression. She wanted the patients to learn empathy, something our patients don't have, and be able to use all the skills learned to move forward with a purpose. Candace has also made a point to include equine therapy, which is horse therapy, to patients who might not have the ability for outings. She arranged to have therapy horses and ponies come to DSH Metro. Candace is getting my director's top honor. Please congratulate her. We recognize that it takes every single person to run the Department of State Hospitals. <laughs>